after last week's loss, I made sure that I gathered the team together, get in some extra work in practice this week. There were some rumors floating around that I could be in jeopardy of losing my starting job. I can't let that happen. I gotta be a leader for this team. They put it all out there for me, I pull it all out there for them. That's how it goes. Look, coach recruited us, and he, all, he said to all of us that, hey, you get out what you put in. And that's basically what we're doing here. Getting some extra work in practice. That's what it's gonna take. Because losing to Alabama State, that's unacceptable. And if I have anything to say about it, I'm gonna fight to the end. These guys are my brothers. We gotta do everything we can to win for Coach J. Let's get it done. Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ. And welcome back to the Coco Beach Rockets Dynasty here on NCAA. 09 on the PS2. Now, we go up against Clemson. And this is definitely going to be a way more challenging than the last game. And so we have to switch up our strategy a little bit. Maybe run a little bit more. Be a little bit more conservative with the clock. Not be as aggressive. And quite honestly, we couldn't do anything last week. So this is going to be a different looking matchup here versus Clemson. They obviously had Trevor Lawrence, one of the best players in the nation, one of the best quarterbacks in this class here and probably looking to take home the Heisman this year. Well, in the first game, it wasn't pretty. Caesar Winston completed two passes the entire game, the only quarterback to complete anything. And that's going to be an issue, obviously. But the main reason is because our receivers, when we got them the ball, they are dropping passes. I mean, if the quarterbacks are getting the ball to them, you got to catch the ball when it's thrown. So we definitely need to take advantage of just good throws and honestly making the catches. Phoenix Frazier was the bright spot of that first game. He had two interceptions along with Trayvon Scott, who had one on the first drive to open the game. So here we are on the road in a very tough environment. Here we are. Let's go underway. And this is going to be Dixon back to receive the opening kickoff. Hit the backup running back, and he takes it to about the 45-yard line as out comes our defense. Let's see if we can force some turnovers like we did last week, but it's going to be very, very tough this game. So Trevor Lawrence starts out under center this time. It looks like that's Dixon behind him, not ETN. ETN's going to be out at receiver, but he throws across the middle. It's picked off. Vincent Showcross. He comes through. He had an interception in the spring game, remember. What a great play that was to open it up, and maybe we have something here. We're across the 50 already. We struggled to get across 50 in the first game, and Trevor Lawrence makes a kind of really bad mistake on that one. ETN was open up the seam. So here we are in offense. Here is a jet sweep, and this time the first play goes for a first down. Avery White to the 31. What a nice start to this game. A first down right after an interception. So handoff, first and 10, and that is a stop in the backfield. They bring us right back down to earth with a loss of three yards on that run. So here is Takahashi into the game now. He's going to run a little bit of option. He had a hole, but it closed up quickly. It's going to be about a loss of one yard. So Caesar Winston checks back in this time. Third down, Winston throws, and he gets hit on the throw, and it's picked off down, down on the interception. He's going to spin around and get pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Well, right when we get a big play, we give it right back. It looks like the defensive end got in there, hit Caesar from behind, and caused the errant throw. And now Trevor Lawrence checks back out onto the field. This is just weird. They line up to ETN in the slot and then put Dixon in the backfield. They throw deep to Rodgers, and that is going to be caught. A big-time gain. Now they're on the opposite side of the 50. So here's Trevor Lawrence throwing across the middle. It's tipped. Taylor Jett almost had the second interception of the game. Instead, it falls incomplete. So Lawrence now, quick throw to his tight end. Allen, who's got it, breaking a tackle and a touchdown. What a throw by Lawrence over the shoulder in stride, and they take it in. And Clemson strikes first. And now we will have to kind of come back in this one, want to use some clock, put Takashi in there to run some option. But here is Caesar. He starts it out getting hit in the backfield, loss of two yards. That was a big-time hit as well. So second and 13, actually, we lose three yards. Quick throw caught by, that's going to be Angelo West. He gets to the first down sticks, but they're not going to give it to him. 
So third and inches this time. This stadium is loud. Handoff. Wilson Caesar Jr. gets stopped. And that one will be Hall in the backfield. And we will not go for this, obviously. Fourth and one. We punt it away. So here's Trevor Lawrence back out onto the field. Dixon handoff this time. Spins away. Once again, another juke move. He breaks the tackle and does fall forward. This is just a funny Clemson team. They line up Dixon, their backup running back, in the backfield, and then line up ETN out wide. So here's a throw to the tight end once again. Allen, he's got space and does fall forward. And he gets to the two-yard line, a gain of 17. So now they're inside the five. Handoff, Dixon falls in for the touchdown. And Clemson strikes again. It's now 14-0 here to start out this game. We just cannot stop this offense after that first drive interception. So here's Takahashi this time running the option. And that was a pitch to Wilson Caesar Jr. But picked up by Avery White on the recovery. So Winston now into the game. Throw to the right side. Avery White again. But this Clemson defense is too fast for our offense. They get the stop. Loss of one. And now Trevor Lawrence is right back on the field. Another three and out. So four and a half to go in the first half. Here's a dump off pass this time to Dixon. He's got it in space and a lot of speed. And he does get pushed out at about the nine. Taylor Jett barely gets to him, but he has that breakaway speed. And Taylor Jett has four tackles in this game, but still 14-0, nothing, nothing to gloat about. Here's Dixon now, pitch to the right side, jumps over a defender, Phoenix Frazier the second, and he goes in for the touchdown. Phoenix Frazier Jr., I should say, and now Dixon, two touchdowns in this game. Allen has one as well. And now it is 21 to nothing. We knew this would be ugly. So here we are back out onto the field. This time it's a handoff. And that is Caesar getting stopped in the backfield once again. And now here we are backed up at our own 10. Third and long. This time throwing a traffic. That was just a bad throw. And we had to pump the ball away again. So every single punt, they start out with great field position because our punter is not very good. Here's a handoff. This time, it's going to be Dixon again. Picks up maybe a gain of one yard. Nice stop. So another handoff. This time, Vincent Showcross can't make the tackle in the backfield. But that one will still get a gain of four for Lynn J. Dixon. So now Lawrence in the pocket throws across the middle and tipped on the defensive line. It looks like Vincent Showcross may have got a hand up there. And he gets the tip. It's now 24-0 after the field goal. So here is Caesar Winston into the game now. Two and a half to go. This time a throw to the left side. It's picked off right away. It's going to be Keys. That was intended for uh, Josh Joyner on the outside. Maybe a little miscommunication on that one, but we give it right back to Clemson. So here's Trevor Lawrence back and onto the field. He throws across the middle. He's got his man that's going to be Amani, Amani Rogers, and he drops that one. Now that brings it to a second and long. This time handoff, and it's going to be a stop in the backfield. How about the play by Jamal Charles? He is our strongest defensive lineman, but nice play getting the back, getting the running back down, and that brings it to a third down. Let's see if our defense can come up with a stop here. So Lawrence in the pocket, throwing across the middle, and it's tipped. We do get a stop. And now we get him to settle for two field goals. So I guess I'll, I'll chalk that up as a win. So now we start the next drive with a little bit of a broken play. I don't think that was called. Remember, sometimes when you call audibles in this game, your players do not receive it due to the crowd noise. So now it's third down. Once again, throwing on the run, and it's going to be out of bounds. And another stop by Clemson. Since that first drive where we were across the 50, we have not got across since. So now here they are up 27-0 before halftime. Here is Trevor Lawrence throwing to left side, and it's picked off. That is Takahashi playing defense. How about the quarterback playing receiver, playing cornerback, playing quarterback, and he comes up with his first interception of the season. I do think he is kind of a good defensive back. I'm going to play him a lot more at that position as the season goes on. But that's how this one ends. 27 to nothing in favor of Clemson going into the second half. This isn't pretty. So now we start the second half. Here's Angelo West starting out with a nice return to the 30. And let's see if we can just get some yardage. So here is Ron Drell Bamaye, the freshman into the game. Maybe a little bit of sleight of hand, and that is a direct snap to Jacob, not Jacob Drackett, Ryan Drackett on that play. 
and that brings it to a second down. Here's Takahashi throwing to the right side, and that one is going to fall incomplete. That was actually third down, and Takahashi in on both sides of the ball, and they do force another punt. So 27 nothing. It looks like their momentum bar has at least gone down to half now. Here's a handoff. Dixon, Lin J. Dixon cuts up field, makes a man miss, and he's going to be gone. Touchdown, Clemson. Man, you have got to be kidding me. And another injury. Teslam Ekinola is going to be down on the play. 48 yards to the crib. And Clemson has the big lead here in the third quarter. So now five wide out there on the next drive. You can just see here we try to change the play, but our receivers just can't hear it. So we'll see what they run. Takahashi throws deep across the middle of the field, picked off. This time it's Wilcher, and he's going to take it all the way to the left side. Big time block and a touchdown. Clemson is starting to pour it on now. We have been pretty good at controlling the clock when we had the ball, but it's just not going to work out. Clemson's going to keep scoring in this game and running the score up. It looks like Takahashi was feeling the pressure. May not have got hit right on the throw, but it was an errant throw. He may have felt the pressure, just threw it up in a big-time block at the end of that play. And Clemson just continues to pour it on into the fourth quarter, 53 to nothing. At least it's not as bad as Alabama State. That should be saying something. So here is Thompson running open and that's going to be an interception that time it's Ron Bamaye who threw that pass pick six again two back to back and that one is the story of this game I mean a wide open Perry Thompson on that one I mean just wide open we just stopped even set our feet and threw that ball and still way off pick six in Clemson just way too good for us we end up getting demolished in this game I tried to get the ball to our playmakers like Angelo West, like Thompson. It just didn't work out. We tried to get the ball to Caesar as well a couple of times. It just did not work. Trevor Lawrence was only 5 of 14. Two of those went for touchdowns. That is incredible. At least we completed three passes in this game instead of two. I mean, that is just the difference in this game. Avery White ran three times for 16 yards. We definitely need to get the ball to uh, Wilson Caesar Jr. some more. I mean, that's just going to have to be our game plan and running some more option. I'm not really sure where we go from here because, man, it's just not easy to play this game on Heisman and, you know, go up against these guys. It is season one. Just remember that. There's going to be a ton of growing pains in this season. But we move to 0-2. Now, next week, we get to face Pensacola our rival in this series the pensacola pelicans they are quarterbacks by michael miller now when you guys submit recruits you will either be recruits for this team or for our team so you will see your players either on pensacola or coco beach and that's kind of how we will run recruits that will actually give you guys a more opportunity to be in the series because now you guys will be on two teams so more roster spots for you guys I want to get you guys more heavily involved, kind of like I do in Long Beach State in that series with how I put uh, you guys on conference teams. But now there's a whole other football team to kind of fill up. So next episode, we will face them for the first time. They are rated a little bit better than what we are. Maybe not even a little bit, a lot bit better. You can just see their highest players on defense are well into the 70s. They have a couple of 80s overall guys. Our highest overall guy is 65. We only have two of them. Everybody is below that. So this could be another one of those outings. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So we're 0-2 to start this season. Not looking pretty. Can we score at least one point this, this next game? That's my goal. Just score. Just score a point, a few goals, something. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake. In the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie. That's what she say. She look good. She a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face. Hella bad when she throwing it back. She bring out my way for the team play. For Pete's sake. I'm above average. I'm padding my stack. I got a matter.